So what's great about the Friars, in addition to their amazing talent, is they represent a microcosm of creativity and positive energy at the university. Thank you. I'm Dan Guinness, the Ford School's Director of Development, and I'm very fortunate to work in a microcosm of passion, activism, and deep impact. The Ford School encapsulates it all. So many lives transformed by the work that all of you do and will do in the future. Dean Collins mentioned your role in building the Ford School. The centennial celebration marks a new building phase for us. In our last campaign, you built this building which has given us a physical identity on campus. And this is very important to who we are today. But now we need to build something else. Something much more important than bricks and mortar. We need to build a base of support to ensure that more students get the financial support that they need, that we can minimize and I hope eliminate their debt burden. That's why we've set aside $20 million of our $38 million campaign goal for student support. And that's why we've created two new permanent funds to help support students. One is the Graduate Centennial Fund, and the other is the BA Future Leaders Fund. Both have $1 million goals, and flyers are in the packets you receive, so hopefully you'll read about this. Um, the interesting thing is we know that our alumni can't do it all. We don't have a huge alumni base, but we also know that we can't do it without all of your help. So here's a little bit of information where we are in the campaign today. Over, just over $1.5 million raised towards our $4 million alumni goal, which makes us about 37% complete. And those are gifts from 626 alumni, which is a huge percentage of our living alumni base. The challenge is that we want to get to 50% support from our alumni base, which would be another 900 donors. So I'm hoping that in the coming days, weeks, months, and years through this campaign, that you'll take our calls, that you'll respond to our emails, that you'll open our mail, and most importantly, that you'll invest in our students who are your future colleagues, just as those who came before you invested in you. Thank you. And now I'd like to welcome Dean Collins back up.